Hey Invictus Athletes, Coach Kirsten here to talk to you about how to string together more toes to bar or possibly more knee to elbow, whatever variation you're at. Rotating to the hip. New runner. First point of performance when I think about stringing together toes to bar is to remember it's a kip, not a swing, right? So the difference between a kip and a swing. A kip is something we control. We use the momentum generated through that nice tight core and control that momentum up into, direct it into a movement that we control. We can stop a kip on a dime. A swing on the other hand is controlled by gravity, right? So the difference between that, when we set up a kip, we jump on up, We're moving through that arch hollow position repeatedly. Arch hollow, arch hollow, arch hollow. A swing on the other hand starts to look like this. I can't really stop a swing when I want. So point one, remember, you wanna be going through that arch hollow, arch hollow, you controlling that kip nice and tight. All right, so point one was remember you're kipping not swinging right so that kip we control and we're moving between two positions our arch and our hollow body position arch hollow body arch hollow body point two for stringing together more toes to bar is remember to turn on your lats right so these nice big muscles down here our bat wing muscles we want to think about pressing down on the bar as we go into our hollow body position of our kip so we want to create tension on the bar so we're pressing down on something so that we can raise our feet towards the bar. A good way um, to think about or to know whether you have turned your lats on is to pay attention to where your hips are in regards to the plane of the bar. So when I'm doing my toes to bar, if I've pressed down on the bar as I go to raise my toes, my hips should be in line with or just behind the plane of the bar. If I've lost the tension in my lats at any point while my toes start to raise, my hips are gonna slide back underneath the bar pull me back under the bar and it's going to pull me into a swing and now I'm swinging not kipping. So an example of lats on as I do my toes to bar, pay attention to where my hips are in line with the plane of the bar. Okay, so my hips are in line with or just behind the plane of the bar. I've kept tension in my lats the whole time. An example of lats turning off as I raise my feet to the bar, pay attention to where my hips are again. Sorry, not the greatest demo of turning your lats off. But if you pay attention, right? My lats kind of fell off. That means my hips are gonna pull me back underneath the bar and now I'm swinging, not kipping, and hence I cannot strain together multiple toes to bar, right? So think about lats, turn on, press down on the bar. Point two. So point three of how to strain together more toes to bar is don't just let your feet drop into the middle of your kip after they touch the bar. So what we wanna think about is sending our feet out and away from the bar ever so slightly. They should really be sending us into our arch position. So it all comes back to that kip. We're always moving between hollow arch, hollow arch. When we turn our lats on and we raise our toes to the bar, we're in our hollow position. When we come back down away from the bar, we wanna be pulling ourselves back into our arch position. So an example of what it looks like to pull our feet away from the bar. And now an example of what it looks like when my feet just drop right in the middle of my kipping swing. It's really hard for me to keep my kipping rhythm if I just let my feet drop. So I always wanna think about feet coming away and don't forget about hitting my arch position. I have to always hit arch, hollow, arch, hollow. So those are my three points for helping you guys string together more toes to bar. Remember it's a kip, not a swing. Turn your lats on, press down on the bar, keep that tension. And three, don't just let your feet drop you back into the middle of that kip. Thanks for listening, hope this was helpful.